everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry for the long leave of absence. I've been working hard um, on my doctorate, so I am back with a new makeup tutorial for you guys. Today we are going to be um, achieving a natural makeup look. This is my go-to makeup look. I love this look for work, um, for school, just going to the grocery store, wherever you have to go. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve this look. Before we get started, please subscribe to the family. I would love to have you guys on board. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing we are going to do is moisturize the face. So today I'm using my St. Ives Timeless Skin um, Moisturizer. This has been my go-to lately and I'm really liking the results and really love the finish on the face. So we're just gonna be putting just a little bit and make sure that you're getting your whole face and your neck as well. Okay, then the next step we're going to do is when I like to do these things, especially because it's an everyday makeup look and um, I do this look early in the morning when I look really tired and really out of it. So I like to use this Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream and this just brightens the eyes and um, depuffs them a little bit. So you only need a little bit and you're just kind of doing dabbing motions. For under the eyes, you don't want to be really rubbing in just because it is really sensitive skin. So dabbing motions is the best way to go. And that's it. So it'll just help you, you know, look more awake and brighten up the under eye. The next thing I like to do is I like to do the eyebrows. So I fill in my eyebrows just a little bit. Firstly, you just brush them. And then today I'm going to be using my Maybelline Brow uh, Precise Micro Pencil. Um, I'm really liking this one a lot. So what I like to do is just line my eyebrows. So I do the bottom first. And we're really just filling in the, any of the sparse areas. So I just go in. I like to line the bottom. And then for the front, if you see any sparse areas, I just like to do upwards motions and just fill in those empty spots there. And then just to make it more subtle and more natural, I just like to go in with the spoolie part and just brush it all in one more time. And then that's done. So first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is, before we put on foundation, I'm going to prime the face. So I'm gonna be using the number seven Airbrush Away Radiance Boosting Primer. This one has been, honestly, I've been using this for over six months now and I still have a lot in the bottle. So it's really been good on um, not wasting product. You only need a little bit and I really only put it in my T-zone area. So on top of my nose, my forehead here. Just the cheeks areas, that's where I tend to get um, oily and then around the nose. And then on my chin here. Okay, so after that's done, we're gonna go ahead and um, put foundation on. Um, today I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. This is in the shade 220. This was, I believe, $3 and it has been so good. So I've been using this a lot lately and I'm loving the finish. Um, to blend that out, we're going to go ahead and use a Beauty blend Blender today and as well as my MAC Fix Plus. I'm just going to be spraying it on. And what I like to do is put a little bit of product on the sponge and just go ahead and kind of dot the face. And then just go ahead and blend it all out. And this foundation is, it's pretty good. It's, it's a medium coverage and you could make it full coverage if you do layer it. And um, I, I've really been liking it, honestly. And it's really cheap, so. I like to do one thin layer first, and then if I feel like there are any spots that I want to go and fill in a little bit more, I go in and just fill those spots, just so, because it is an everyday look, um, I wear this look to work, um, to school, you know, if I'm just going out to the grocery store, things like that. So you don't want to have too much on. You want to keep it more on the natural side. So just going in like that. And then the spots that I tend to 
to put a second coat on is the cheek area. So I just go in and put a little bit more on those on those areas and just dab it in a little bit more. For underneath the eyes, we are going to be putting concealer today, so you don't have to go in and you know get too close to the eyes because um, we want to put as little as as little as product as we can in those areas. Um, that's my secret, and it's been working for me so that my makeup will last all day, and the, there's no creasing that happenings uh, happens under the eyes. So no need to pile on a bunch of makeup under underneath the eyes. Okay, and then I have a little bit of product left. What I like to do is just put a little bit on my sponge and I just do um, my eyelid area with the remainder of the foundation. Just like that. So once you're done all that, we're going to go in with some concealer underneath the eyes. And um, I don't, for an everyday look, I don't usually do the whole um, highlighting my whole highlighting routine I just usually stick to underneath my eyes and if I do find like there's spots that I want to brighten up a little bit I go in and do those too but I don't I don't like to overdo it really for the everyday look um, today I'm going to be using for concealer my Maybelline uh, fit me concealer this is in the shade 15 fair Claire so that's what it looks like there so we're going to be putting this just underneath the eyes I like to go in the inner part here and get that and then just a little bit in there and then extend it just like that a lot of the times I have a little bit of redness here around my nose so you can go in and do just those areas there and then again with the beauty blender going in and blending that all in and then just extending the concealer all the way to the side of the face here and make sure you're getting in the inner part here. I find that that really helps um, you brighten your eyes and your eyes look more awake in the morning, especially on those cold summer mornings. Cold summer mornings. When nobody wants to be up, it helps you wake up just a little bit. So, you know what? I didn't say summer. You said you definitely said summer. Did I? Yeah. Okay, sorry guys. I said, I meant to say winter. <clears throat> Apparently, I said summer. Wow, that's really crazy because I heard winter in my head, but summer came out of my mouth. <laughs> All right, so after you're done doing that, we're gonna go in and um, bake those parts where we put the concealer. So I'm going in today with, honestly, my favorite uh, powder, loose powder. This is the uh, Maybelline Fit Me, also in Fair Claire. This is 05. This is so good. I love it so much. So what I do is, I just pour a little bit into the lid and then I use this instead. I've been using my beauty blender. Um, I find that using the foundation, the liquid, and then the powder really is messing up the texture of my beauty blender. So I've been avoiding that and I just got this little sponge um, from any drugstore. Super cheap and super nice and because they're cheap you can just throw them away once they get um, worn out a little bit. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just putting some of the product on the tip of the sponge here. I like it because it's really square and you can really get in there under the eyes. So just like that and then if you find that there's too much product just wipe away a little bit like this on the edge of the lid. And then I just go in and kind of dab. We're not really baking, I'm just kind of setting it in so that uh, there's no creasing happening and it lasts all day. Pressing that into the concealer as much as you can. And this, because this is a little bit um, a lighter powder, it does also brighten up the eyes and wake up the eyes a little bit. And then just doing the other eye. You do find that there's too much powder going on, you can always use a, um, a brush and just wipe it away. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna be adding a little bit more into the lid here. And what I like to do is, I like to just kind of cut my, make a line here on my cheeks, just to give me that contour effect. So I just put a little bit here. This one we are gonna be wiping away because I find that it kind of stays there and I don't want that line to be showing too much. Okay. And then going in and using just foundation brush and just wiping it away. Okay. Um, whatever's um, left over on the sponge, I like to just go in and kind of press this into my um, eyelid area. 
Um, I know that for me, at least, um, you know, long days of work, I do get some creasing that happens up here. So um, the powder has been working really well for me. Um, I haven't had any creasing since I've been using it. So this is definitely a must have. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to um, add a little bit of eyeshadow very minimal eyeshadow. I'm not doing much. I'm using my uh, NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. Looks like this. And this is my Real Techniques um, brush here. And what I'm doing is I'm grabbing just this like neutral shade here. As you can see, I've been using that one a lot. Um, it is my go-to for everyday looks just because it is really neutral. And really all I do is I just kind of put it into the crease area. What it does is it just gives you some definition there. So I really, really enjoy using this one. So just putting a little bit on the brush and then just going in and in windshield wiper motions, just cutting that crease there. It really doesn't have to be precise. It's just to add a little bit of color and some definition and contour into the um, eyelid area. And it's just that simple. And we're not doing anything crazy today. Um, next thing I like to do, um, we are going to be putting false lashes today, so what I like to do is I just like to line um, really just the eyelash line as close as you can. I'm using my L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Superstar Liquid Eyeliner and it looks like this. I really like this one because of the felt tip and it, um, it's really black so I really like that. Um, I'm just basically, this is kind of challenging, but I just like to get as close as I can to my eyelash line and what this does is it um, avoids um, the eyelash showing um, and then also it makes your eyelash eyelash line appear to, appear to be a little bit thicker which I like. Without having too much makeup on it looks very natural. I've really been enjoying this lately. I've been doing it every day almost. I really do like this pencil because not a lot of not a lot of product comes out at a, at a time and really helps me do the the eyelash line because you need to be very precise. So you don't want in the morning when you're rushing a lot of product come out and then you have to restart. So that's been really good. Next thing we're going to move on to is a little bit of contour. Um, for this one, it's really basic. I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Um, I've really been liking this one. I mainly only use the darker shade uh, for contour. Um, so what I go and this is just a BH Cosmetics brush. So just go in and then tap it off. And I start off with my forehead, so I kind of just push my hairline a little bit back. And so I kind of do swiping motions and dabbing motions at the same time. I find that um, when you're doing that, it kind of helps not move the foundation around. So I, I don't know, I've just been really liking the finish of that. Uh, a little bit more product. We're not really doing like a full out contouring today. We're just, you know, I just like to do my forehead, a little bit down my cheeks, um, around my chin area. Really general, nothing too crazy, more natural looking. Okay, then I just added a little, a lot, added a little bit more product. And what I'm doing is I'm just pinching the brush like this and then going in here and just kind of contouring a little bit there just like that adding a little bit more product what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of blend it in and then going down the side here and then on my jawline my chin then doing the other side again we're pinching the brush moving all my <laughs> my hairs there and just kind of making a line like that and putting a little bit more product and we're going to go in and kind of just blend it all in. And basically with this we're just trying to fade out the line there. And then going down the side, jaw and chin again. Make sure you're getting your neck a little bit. You don't have to go crazy on the neck. but. And then what I like to do, I don't really contour my nose for everyday um, looks. What I do is I just kind of push the the, the uh, bronzer over my nose here, just like that, and then across this way. And that's pretty much it. It's that simple. 
Then we're going to go in with blush. So I'm also using Wet n Wild. This is called Pearlescent Pink. And this is really pretty. It kind of has, because we're not doing um, highlighting, it has a little bit of shimmer in it already. So that gives a really nice kind of glowy look. All right, next thing we're going to move on to is before we put the lashes on and everything like that, I like to spray my face. So we're all done with the face. So I just use my um, MAC Fix Plus and I go ahead and spray my whole face. I let it dry a little bit. This way you're done, done with the face. We're gonna put on the lashes and then put a little, little bit of gloss on and that's all done for the everyday makeup look. So I'm just gonna be spraying a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. And then I like to go and just kind of dry it out like this. So once you feel like it's dry on your face, um, I'm going in today with my um, Kiss Lashes. These have been, honestly, my favorite lashes. They last a long time. They look good every time. Um, and I really enjoy them because they're super natural. They're not too much for work. Um, I know that you know you don't want to look too glammed up for work. These are very natural, so they almost look like your own lashes. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes, and I hold honestly for like 10 seconds, like that. And I'm going ahead and I'm just putting a little bit of mascara for today. Um, I'm gonna be using the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. This is a really good one. I'll show you the the brush on it. So I really been liking this one. And I don't go crazy, I just put a little bit, just like that. Let it dry, you know, for a few seconds before you put on your lashes. So I'm just gonna be prepping the lashes while um, the mascara dries. So today I'm gonna be using, um, for eyelash glue, the Duo uh, Brush On Adhesive. And this one is the black shade. I have been liking this one. I haven't, um, I've always been using the clear stuff. And I don't know, I find that I get a reaction from it, so I moved over to this black one. And I'll just show you. So the actual glue is black, which is pretty cool. Um, and because we had put the black liner on, it just blends right in and you don't see it. You don't see the um, eyelash line at all, so I've really been liking that. So what I do is I grab my tweezers and I pick it up from the center just like that and I go ahead and just put on a little bit of glue here on the top here you don't need much this stuff is pretty good it, it, it sticks on pretty good and, and it, it lasts me all day I've never had an issue where you know it's been peeling off or anything like that so that's really good so I grab it like that from the center and then what I like to do is I like to kind of pull my eye um, and stretch it out this way kind of gives me like a straighter line to work with, with my eyelash line. So I go ahead like this. What I do is I just stick it in the middle first and just go ahead and hold it there for a few seconds. And then I glue this side and then I glue the back here, just like that. Then what I like to go do is I, I use the other side of my tweezers, okay? And I pull my eye back again and I just press the press the falsies right into my my eyelash line, just like that, just like that. And then I go in and I just kind of push them again into my eyelash line, just to make sure that they're in place, nothing is peeling off or anything like that, just like that. So we're gonna let that side dry. We're gonna do the other side. I found that I haven't had to cut these ones at all or size them at all for my eyelash line so they just work with me if you're getting these make sure you're trying them on before you glue them um, if you do need to stip, snip the ends just grab a scissor and just cut the end of that there but I've been fortunate enough I haven't had to it's like they were made for my eyes I really like it so next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put mascara on my bottom lashes just like that then for liner I'm going to be putting this in my waterline this is the um, Annabelle um, this is the white liner, um, just called white, looks like this, 
And what I'm going to be doing is just grabbing a brush, pulling my lower, uh, lower line down, and just kind of putting a little bit in there. I find that this really, really brightens up and wakes up your eyes a lot. So I'm not putting too much, just a little bit like that. <sighs> Sorry, I just have to breathe. I just ran up the stairs. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to be using um, this MAC lip liner. And this is in the shade um, Boldy Bear. This has been literally my favorite color from MAC. Um, I've been loving it. It's a nude pink but it's enough to sh and, it, and it shows. So I really like it. The other ones I find washed out my lips a little bit. I don't, I haven't been blessed with um, really big lips. So I like to use a little bit darker color just so that it, it shows a little bit more. Um, the color is great for everyday work, school, uh, really natural, nothing too crazy or too bold. So that's what I've been liking about it. So what we're gonna be doing is basically just lining the lips first. I like to go in and start from the center and then work my way out on my, bat my bottom lip. And what that does, when you pull down your lip like that, it kind of stretches out the lips so it's easier to work with. The line will go on a lot smoother, so try that out. So there you go, that is the completed lip look. But honestly guys, this is it. This has been my go-to, I love it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you do recreate this look. Um, as well as, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, I would love for you to join our family. And um, that completes the look. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.